moon and two kids in the eyes. A steam locomotive is pulling us. Welcome aboard the Missionary Bridge Local Train 100 departing Green Junction Station. Ooh, great timing! I see a we train over there! Awesome, Heading down towards the end of our yeah, line. It's a race, ladies and gentlemen. One leg of the line. It's like they're all dash nine. Oh, yeah, it's the same one. Right on the His triple beam. So we're heading down to the end of the main leg. Okay. And our engineer will push our train around on the east leg. When he reaches the end of the east leg, the locomotive will be facing the west leg, and we can head down to East Chattanooga Depot, which is our destination. Switching the focus of our journey is going to be the history of the well, railroad and the, our equipment. The very back of it is open air, too. You want to go this back trip there, in particular too. is approximately mm -hmm. 55 minutes. I think there's a little the open air part to travel right in back. each direction on the three miles of track. And a 20 to 25 minute layover in East Chattanooga, where we will have a demonstration oh, of the as we spin the locomotive around 180 degrees for the return trip. At the turntable, we'll bust the turntable. We will have a brief tour of our back shop area. As we back around the east leg of our Y, on the left side of the train, you'll see our display yard. Oh, look at that display yard. Our display yard, yard are passenger mm -hmm. cars, dining cars, oh, freight cars, nice steam and possible. diesel locomotives from various <laughs> railroads of the past. They're called fallen flags. So some of these fallen flags are the Nashville Chattanooga and St. Louis, the Louisville and Nashville, the Atlantic coastline, the tag, the bases from Atlanta to Savannah and back. This train was originally named after an undefeated standard bred trotter racehorse that was named after President Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks. So we're calling our train the Lincoln, Lincoln, Little Nancy, Lincoln. because we have only three of the cars that were actually used on this Nancy Hanks 2 train. Nancy Hanks 2 train was on the Central of Georgia Railroad. All three of our cars were manufactured in 1947 by the ACF, the American Car Foundry. Combine 397 for coach, for seating, and the last quarter of the car is a freight area for carrying heavy freight and packages and mail back in the day. Coach 907 and 661 are also used on the two trains. And these are huh, coaches with the seat that you can see in the coach. So it's pretty nice. Eventually one day we'd like to have them all in the gray and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Here's our first bridge over the south. Have you seen that power move from up here? To the left of the train, our stand here. So yes, Georgia does own land in Tennessee. They currently lease these tracks out to the CSX Transportation Corporation. Sells as civilians and made their way to Big Shanty, Georgia, which is today Kennesaw, Georgia. Mm -hmm. They sold a locomotive named General while it was on a fuel, water, and meal stop. They planned to race the locomotive all the way north to Chattanooga while burning bridges and destroying track and telegraph wires along the way in an effort to sever the crucial Confederate supply artery. Oh yeah, I think that caused me. What they didn't count on was, was the general's road? conductor, William Fuller. Yeah, there's that cross. He pursued the general, so first on foot, then a hand car, a succession of boat runners, and finally found a the one of them to the Texas. The Texas was facing Nine south, so for the direction of the chase north, he had to run the locomotive in reverse at speeds of up to 60 miles an hour, on track rated 450. We're going through the tunnel over here.
Oh, to this old whirlpool that I saw from the train. Yes, yeah, so running. Such a beast right here. Then one of our founders in the early 60s had $5,000 in his pocket, saw this locomotive, and decided to buy it. So that's how it ended up here. When it left the shop this morning, it had 16 tons of coal in the, in the tender, along with 13,000 gallons of water. So we are taking it over to and spot it on track two. We came in on track one, Park the passenger cars, disconnect the left side and put them on the table. And we are now turning it, and we're going to send it down track two so we can go through a switch and then back up and back on to the front end of our train so we can go back to Grand Junction. The 4501 is also known as the Mikado Type Class Steam Locomotive. 
and its wheel arrangement is 282. It has two pilot wheels in the front. It has eight driving wheels that are 63 inches in diameter each. And then it has two training wheels underneath the cab for support. Many of these Mikados were used and built in the early 1900s. And as you can see, this one here is doing a great job for us today. Then we're approaching track two. Track two is going to be the Mikado track area. We'll cross back over to the back shop and explain how we keep this equipment rolling. There are about six tracks we will be walking over, so please watch your step. I don't know if this boy is horn, that would be like a jump scare. I heard you be 30. The yard or is that water pool that were for bees? Oh, yeah, I can see a camel usually. Hey, buddy. Shout out straight up.
over here. I'm here for Richard Green Junction. Back at the the museum and so, stuff. After we pull into the station, please wait for the train to come to a stop and yeah, the conductor will announce when it is safe to exit the train. Right. Well, we're doing that today. Thank you for riding with us today. Oh, no, what are you doing? And we appreciate you helping Still us. Still going jogging. Oh, look at that! Another Norfolk Southern! Oh, look! Oh, another cat! Wow. 8047 and 7657. You got a little horn treat for us. Yeah, recording. I mean, I, I don't think we will have a time. I'm kind of asking. Oh, it depends on the weather. It's supposed to rain like Okay, we're back over here. This window in it. I got these passenger cars. I got air conditioner there. There's a barred window unit there running. A bald wall hung, you know what I mean? is the first sport I'll ever film running. Oh, it's like the first one I would ever film. Oh yeah, here's the sport. Right. 